hello guys welcome to my channel so i'm back with one more video and this video i am going to give out the actual footage of the interview that i have conducted for a junior full stack developer role so this was a live interview and i have recorded the entire session so before we actually move on to that part i want to give you some uh, information before we actually watch that so this was a junior full stack developer role for zero to two years experienced person and the uh, requirement was like the candidate should be familiar with java spring boot uh, some somewhere along he should be aware of web services api javascript or any front end technology experience then database knowledge and somewhere along uh, some coding um, skill set also right so this was uh, what is required so now uh, the candidate is a, is experienced person uh, like he is working on an organization for past uh, maybe 10 11 months after you watch this part of recorded video i will tell you like what an interviewer expect uh, from you when you have uh, joined the interview or maybe when you are joining the interview what is the mind set of an interviewer while interviewing you so that we will talk about later and also i will share like uh, what parameters uh, should we actually work on like on which skills we have to work on more so that we can increase our chances of being selected right so let's first watch the video and then we will continue again hello hi Aryan. hello hi sir okay how are you i'm good and you sir uh, great. Okay. Shall we start? Yeah, sure. Okay. So uh, myself, Prashant Sharma, and currently I'm working as a senior software engineer. Uh, I basically uh, work as a Java backend developer, but Hello. I have uh, some experience with full stack Hello? technologies also. Some voice is breaking. Hello. Actually, I can hear you properly. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Better? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me uh, start again. So myself, Prashant Sharma, I'm currently working as a senior software engineer. And I basically uh, work as a Java backend developer, but I have some exposure to full stack technologies also. I have around, uh, I have more than six years of experience working with Java technologies and in corporate environment. So this was brief about me. Can you brief about yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, let me tell you about few things. So this interview will be divided into few parts. So uh, I will be asking you a few questions based on these uh, skills. So these skills are Java, Spring Boot, uh, a coding question, and then web services, databases, JavaScript, API. So these are the parameters on which I have to judge your uh, skill set, right? So uh, let's start with Java. So how comfortable are you with Java? Uh, only at the basic knowledge. Basic knowledge. Okay. So I'll start slow then. So what do you understand by OOPS principles? Um, principle, uh, there are four. Uh, so type uh, first one is encapsulation second is uh, inheritance fourth mm -hmm. is uh, polymorphism and uh, abstraction okay uh, what is encapsulation sir uh, hello i'm audible yes you are i can hear you okay uh, encapsulation uh, uh, is is that part uh, where uh, we can wrap the data and the uh, data and the uh, object uh, we can uh, wrap together okay uh, what is abstraction abstraction sir uh, i don't remember okay polymorphism sir, okay 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 uh, what is the string pool in java Okay. Uh, what is parameterized constructor? Parameterized constructor. Uh, okay. Uh, no issues. Okay. Uh, now let's move to Spring Boot. So, uh, do you 
have experience on Spring Boot? Like, have you used Spring Boot yet? No, sir. Okay. Okay, then uh, we will move to web services. So, have you worked on web services? No, sir. Uh, what about APIs? Any APIs? Yeah. Uh, APIs. Uh, APIs is the medium uh, which uh, which is uh, uh, using the uh, API. Uh, we can uh, communicate the uh, client uh, client and uh, the server. Uh, okay. Do you have experience on JavaScript then? Yes, like, sir. Okay. What are the data types in JavaScript? Data type. Uh, there are uh, two type of data type. Uh, first, uh, first is uh, predefined. Uh, second is the okay okay no no All issues no issues what is global variable in ja javascript global variable mm -hmm. when we uh, declare uh, into the global variable it is too close to the uh, window object okay Okay, uh, what is this keyword in JavaScript? This is referred to the owner of the object. If, uh, if, if, if uh, the, this is defined into the global, then it is referred to the window. If it is defined into the uh, object or function, uh, then it is refers to the uh, that object. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the difference between double equals and triple equals? Uh, double equals uh, compare the only uh, the value, whereas the uh, triple equal compares the value as well as the type. If I uh, if I compare the uh, one number uh, one, it takes as a string and it takes as a number. If if I uh, compare y equal to double, then it is true because the number is one is the same. But if I compare the uh, using uh, triple equal to, it is false because uh, the number uh, which I uh, one take uh, as a string and uh, Another number is the uh, as a, a take as a number, so it is uh, false. Okay. Uh, what is currying in JavaScript? Okay. Uh, currying uh, is a technique uh, to uh, converting the multiple uh, argument as a single argument if uh, if uh, just like uh, can i uh, write the code if no no uh, theoretical is okay so you are saying that uh, x argument uh, can be converted into x functions uh, with, yes, uh, with single same. argument yes okay uh, can there be less than one argument zero maybe less than one argument is there any possibility can, can the question uh, explain uh, again i cannot okay. understand the question okay you said uh, carrying convert x argument into x functions with single argument my question is uh, is there any possibility that x argument will be converted into x functions with zero argument okay uh, no issues uh, okay uh, let's move ahead um, 
So now uh, let's move ahead with databases. Have you worked on databases? No, sir. Actually, I'm uh, front, uh, know about a uh, front end development. Okay, like. this this role is actually for a full stack developer role, junior full stack. So with junior full stack, uh, we have backend, front end, as well as database. So it means that you have to do all the stuff. So you have to be aware about few things, right? Yes. So that's why we, we are asking questions other than front end. Okay, so if you are comfortable with front end, let me ask you one more question. Uh, what does undefined data type mean in JavaScript? Uh, undefined data type. Uh, this uh, uh, undefined data type is uh, predefined in the uh, JavaScript and uh, and if uh, in the case of uh, def. If we cannot uh, declare, uh, uh, we cannot initialize uh, uh, the uh, variable uh, before uh, the accessing, then the JavaScript engine automatic uh, uh, assign uh, to the variable. And uh, it is a, a false, falsy value. Okay, got it. Okay, uh, I think uh, I'm done with my part. So, uh, do you have any questions for me? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to know uh, the uh, the company uh, which that technology is used. Uh, so uh, as I said before, uh, this is a full stack developer role. So you will be responsible of writing backend code using Java and Spring Boot, then uh, web services, APIs, and JavaScript is there, right, for front end. And database is there. We are using uh, RDBMS, which is your either MySQL or Oracle. Then we have Node.js, Express.js, Docker, Kubernetes. So it is a uh, good and big stack, but uh, yeah, this is all about the stack. Any other question? Sir. Okay, then, uh, then we are done. So I will wish you good luck and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> all right. So as you have seen the video, um, I think you have all the points ready, like uh, what you should not do or what sh you should do basically. Now let me guide you a bit. So uh, as I have told you, the requirement was a full stack developer role. Uh, it was junior full stack developer role, but the weightage was given more on Java and Spring Boot because that is how the project is built on. And there is more requirement on the backend and less on the front end, right? So there is a prerequisite here that you should be well versed with backend first and then front end is okay, okay, because we uh, are considering around 24% of weightage on front end and 40% of weightage on Java and Spring Boot. So there is a big gap here, right? So now uh, what I see that we should work on is like whenever we are going for an interview, we should read the job description or the job responsibilities clearly because there uh, everything is going to get mentioned what skills you should be aware of and what skills are a must and what you will be responsible for in case you get shortlisted. So you have to read those requirements properly because that will give you some kind of an alert before you go for an interview. Right, because if the uh, if in the job description it is said that uh, there is a requirement, there is a must requirement of Java and Spring Boot, you should at least prepare for that. Uh, like if if we just say like uh, we don't know Java and Spring Boot, then there is no point of being interviewed, right? Because you have already lost the major skill set, and uh, why would interviewer um, like even give you his time? because now that is uh, not a good thing for him, right? So that is that again now for preparing yourself, you don't know the weightage. 
because no one gives the weightage on like which skill set we have to prepare more and on which skill set you have to prepare less but whatever skill set you are good at you should be at least good at that you have to give yourself out there so that the interviewer will see that okay at least this guy is is good at this stuff so maybe i can give him some kind of boost uh, for like let's say like i can tell my recruiter that he is really good at this skill and if if we give give him enough time or uh, uh, mentorship that then he will be a really good candidate so we can talk about that later but at least whatever skill set you are good at you should be good at that you should not lie right so now that is that now uh, what parameters i judged on was the same parameter that was mentioned in the skill set java spring boot coding web services api databases and javascript or any front end technology so for a full stack developer role we have back end plus front end plus any database knowledge right so these can be segregated into different weightage but you have to know about all of these it doesn't matter how good or how bad you are at any skill but you should at least be aware of a few terminologies of few frameworks that are being used right because that that will show the interviewer that okay this guy is up to date he can learn he has the passion maybe he can learn if given time or given enough mentorship right so uh, this was my two cents on how you can prepare yourself better before going for an interview and i think this is uh, only for beginners or a junior targeted audience so prepare yourself better and i'm sure like if you work on these points you will get shortlisted in every interview whichever you are giving right so uh, this was it for this video i hope we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye